young black man, let's talk about the word lazy part four. So, um, in part three, I finished up on the scriptures containing the word lazy. And I ended that video saying why I am going to start talking about the word, giving scriptures on the word slothful and the word slugger. And that is because when I looked up the biblical definition definition of lazy, the definition was indolent slash uh, slothful slugger. And indolent is uh, a synonym of the word lazy. And I talk about that in part one. So when I was when I had seen that biblical definition, God was like, okay. You need to give the, de the the scriptures on the word sluggard and the word slothful. So I am starting part four with definitions of the words um, slothful. Alrighty. So Proverbs chapter 18, verse 19, New King James. He who is slothful in his work is a brother to him who is a great destroyer. In the Holman Christian Standard Bible, the one who is truly lazy in his work is a brother to a vandal. In the New Living Translation, a lazy person is bad as someone who destroys things. In the Amplified Bible, he who is careless in his work is a brother to him who destroys. And in the Message Bible, Proverbs chapter 18, verse 9, slack habits and sloppy work are as bad as vandalism. The next scripture is Judges chapter 18, verse 9. And this one is, Okay, first I'm going to read this one in the King James Version. And this is what it reads. And they said, Arise, that we may go up against them. For we have seen the land, and behold, it is very good. And are ye still? Be not slothful to go and enter to possess the land. And then I wrote it out in the New King James so they said, Arise, let us go up against them, for we have seen the land, and indeed it is very good. Would you do nothing? Do not hesitate to go and enter to possess the land. So the word slothful in the scriptures that the other scriptures that I'm going to read is the word hesitate. So that's why I included King James because <clears throat> King James it actually used the word slothful. But when you listen to the other verses, um, hesitate, yeah, hesitate is in a couple. And then in the Message Bible, it's another word. I'll talk to that about that when I get to that scripture. So, again, uh, Judges chapter 18, verse 9. Now in the Holman Christian Standard Bible, they answered, Come on, let's go up against them, for we have seen the land, and it is very good. Why wait? Don't hesitate to go and invade and take possessions of the land. New Living Translation, the man replied, come on, let's attack them. We have seen the land and it is very good. Why are you waiting for it? Um, what are you waiting for? Don't hesitate to go and take possession of it. In the Amplified Bible, it reads, they said, arise, let us go up against them. For we have seen the land, and behold, it is very good, fertile. Will you sit still and do nothing? Do not hesitate to go and to enter to take possession of the land. And, okay, so in those verses, we use, it use, the Bible uses the word hesitate, right? So just think about it. What do you hesitate to do? Now, when I'm talking to y'all, I'm talking to me too. So what do we hesitate to do? So now I'm like, oh gosh, I'm hesitating. Am I being lazy? So now that I read these scriptures, now that's what 
I pray God always bring back to my remembrance and that I pray that someone costs. Okay, I'm hesitating to do this. Is it there a legitimate reason I'm hesitating? Or is it no re legitimate reason and I'm just being lazy? And sometimes we make excuses like what we was reading about the people saying that, oh, there's a lion in the street that can't go outside. So are we hesitating to do something because we have this quote unquote lion that's out there that is causing us to hesitate? So, okay. So, anywho, now I'm going to read it in the Message Bible. And the word slothful in this um, um, passage of scripture is doddle, D A W. DLE, I don't know, I ain't looking up in the dictionary or not yet, but uh, that's what the word they're using for slothful. So, and I'm gonna read nine and ten because again, the message Bible gives things out and um, they group scriptures together. So, this group of scripture is uh, Judges chapter 18, verses 9 and 10. So, they message Bible, they said, Let's go for it, let's attack. We've seen the land and it is, it is excellent. Are you going to just sit on your hands? Don't dawdle. Invade and conquer. When you get there, you'll find there are sitting ducks, totally unsuspecting, wide open land. God is handing it over to you. Everything you would ever ask for. All right. So the next scripture Romans chapter 12, verse 11, and the word used is, the word slothful is used in the King James, not New King James, but King James. So, in King James, Romans chapter 12, verse 11 reads, Not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. In the New King James, it says, not lagging in diligence, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. In the Holman Christian Standard Bible, it says, do not lack diligence, be fervent in spirit, serve the Lord. In New Living Translation, it reads, never be lazy, but work hard and serve the Lord enthusiastically. In the Amplified Bible, it reads, never lagging behind in diligence, a, a glow in the spirit, enthusiastically serving the Lord. Hmm. Now I'm going to have to go look up a glow. A-G-L-O-W. I mean, I've seen it earlier, you know, when I was preparing this and things like that, but, you know, now I'm like, hmm, why didn't I look up that word? Uh, and lastly, Romans chapter 12 and then in the message bible it has verse 11 but it goes to 13. it says don't burn out keep yourselves filled and aflame be alert servants of the master cheerfully expected don't quit don't quit in hard times pray all the harder help the help needy christians be inventive in hospitality so that is romans chapter 12 verse 11 so now we're going over to oh real quick in these scriptures real quick uh slothful we have the different words used lagging lack lazy and burnout so just keep that in mind you know words from being slothful okay next scripture hebrews chapter 6 verse 12 king james version that ye be not slothful, but followers followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promise. In the New King James, it reads, that you do not become sluggish, but in, imitate those who through faith and patience inherit the promise promises. Holman Christian Standard Bible. So that you won't become lazy but will be imitators of those who inherit the promises through faith and perseverance. New Living Translation, then you will not become spiritually dull and indifferent. Instead, you will follow the example of those who are going to inherit God's promises because of their faith 
and endurance. Amplified Bible. So that you will not be spiritually sluggish, but will instead be imitators of those who through faith lean on God with absolute trust and confidence in him and in his power. And by patient endurance, even when suffering and now even when suffering and now inheriting the promises and lastly hebrews chapter 6 verse 12 in the message and so again as i always say it's a group of scriptures and so it's going to talk i'm going to read verses 9 through 12 in the message bible it reads i'm sure I'm sure that won't happen to you, friends. I have better things in mind for you. Salvation things. God doesn't miss anything. He knows perfectly well all the love you've shown, shown him by helping needy Christians. And that you keep at it. And now I want each of you to extend the same intensity toward a full-bodied hope. And keep at it till the finish. Don't drag your feet. Be like those who stay the course with committed faith and then get everything promised to them. So that was the last scripture for the word slothful. And the, the different words used for slothful in the different translations. Sluggish, lazy, spiritually dull. Hmm. Are you spiritually dull in some things? You know? Hmm. Are you spiritually dull in certain things of Christ? Are you, are you spiritually dull of prayer? Are you spiritually dull in worship? Are you spiritually dull in um, in warfare? Are you, are you spiritually dull when, um, about deliverance? Are you spiritually dull in showing love the godly way so are you spiritually love spiritually dull you know in those in those areas so i just wanted to hold on one second yes oh what are you doing i'm doing my video it's recording just fyi so no i cannot because i'm posting this one so i'm almost done i just gotta finish these scriptures i just gotta I'll tell he be right back. He can call you when he on his way back. Okay. I'm almost done. Okay. Now I'm just gonna go over the scriptures on sluggard. And it's only two scriptures, but I'm gonna read them in the different translations. Okay. So the first one, Proverbs chapter six, verse six in the New King James. Go to the ant, you sluggard. Consider her ways and be wise. Home and Christian Standard Bible. Go to the ant, you slacker. Observe her ways and become wise. New Living Translation. Take a lesson from the ants, you lazy bones. Learn from their ways and become wise. Amplified Bible. Go to the ant, O oh lazy one. Observe her ways and be wise. And again, mess lastly, we're going to read Proverbs 6. Chapter 6, verse 6 in the message, but it includes verses 6 through 11. And it reads, You lazy fool, look at an ant. Watch it closely. Let it teach you a thing or two. Nobody has to tell it what to do. All summer it stores of food. At harvest it stockpiles provisions. So how long are you going to laze around, do nothing? How long before you get out of bed? A nap here, a nap there, a day off here, a day off there. Sit back, take it easy. You don't, do you know what comes next? Just this, you can look forward to a dirt poor, poverty, dirt poor life. Po poverty, your permanent house guest. And last scripture is, and the last scripture in this whole session and the last scripture on the word sluggard. Proverbs chapter 6 verse 9 in the new King James reads, How long will you slumber, O sluggard? 
When will you rise from your sleep? Holman Christian Standard Bible. How long will you stay in bed, you slacker? When will you get up from your sleep? In the New Living Translation, but you lazy bones, how long will you sleep? When will you wake up? In the Amplified Bible, how long will you lie down, O lazy one? When will you arise from your sleep and learn self-discipline? And lastly, Proverbs chapter 6, verse 9 in the Message Bible. And it includes verses 6 through 11. I just read it, but guess what? I'm going to read it again. You lazy fool, look at an ant. Watch it closely. Let it teach you a thing or two. Nobody has to tell it what to do. All summer, it stores up food. At harvest, it stockpiles provisions. So how long are you going to laze around doing nothing? How long before you get out of bed? A nap here, a nap there, a day off here, a day off there. Sit back, take it easy. Do you know what comes next? Just this. You look forward to a dirt poor life, poverty, your permanent house guess and so i can't for the word sluggard the bible's ver versions i use for the word sluggard in a different version you got slacker lazy bones lazy one lazy fool and for the word sluggard ooh, ooh, hold on sorry I'm sorry, hold on, hold on, hold on. Which one is it? Let's see. Okay, never mind. Hold on. What is it? Okay, slothful. Okay, I think I told you all that. Yeah, okay. I think I got everything stacked with lazy bones. Oh, and then, um, oh, laser round. This also, oh, um the word for the word sluggard so when i when i think about that like hmm do i just be laying around you know lays around so you know this was eye opening for me and it convicted me of some things in my life and i pray that it does the same for you so um i really hope that you listen to have well you want this is part four so i hope you have listened to parts one through three is i think it's very good part one is the longest it's 30 minutes so it's on tiktok up to like nine minutes and 46 seconds but if you go to my youtube i'm gonna place all these videos because this one's gonna have to go on youtube is on youtube because it's like at 18 minutes and nine seconds right now but make sure i to listen to the um to the scriptures because um like my ministry is using god's words to combat gun violence and you may think how listening to some words about lazy gonna combat gun violence you'll be surprised what god can do what god will do what god will show you what god will teach you what you will learn through the words not from me um, but what you will learn from the word of God and how you just never know because God, he just amazes me because some things that be revealed that he shows me, I'm like, what now? Like, and then I'd be just like, oh, I see it now. And then some things he'll show you to do, but the thing is you have to be obedient. So I pray that you be obedient to the things that you have read. Um, and that's about it. So y'all be blessed and may laziness be broken off of your life in the name of Jesus, of my life in the name of Jesus, my family's life in the name of Jesus, my kids in the name of Jesus, may it be broken off of your family in the name of Jesus, and may we walk in diligence. <laughs> but again, look at, listen to part one if you haven't and those synonyms and antonyms i'm telling you they're gonna stick out to you the antonyms mean words that are 
um, different, opposite of lazy in how we want to be. The synonyms were the same. And I remember in elementary school, I remember synonym S same. So synonyms, words that are similar, the same as lazy, which we do not want to be. And just listen to the words and see how many stick out to you. Like, wow, somebody called me this. Or wow, I said this about myself. Or wow, I said this about somebody else. And I want you to pray and ask God for forgiveness for saying that you are lazy and for saying that other people are lazy as well. So, y'all be blessed.